Meanwhile, Fairfax County is changing its quarantine protocol, and the school system will also be the first in the Commonwealth to try out a new test to stay program. Colby Satterfield with us with what that actually means outside of FCPS headquarters. So what, what does this program do, Colby? It's basically exactly as it sounds. Students can test out of quarantine requirements if they have a COVID exposure while at school. It's something FCPS is piloting as well as an anticipated nine other districts across the state. My youngest uh, in second grade was quarantined for 14 days. Tracy Compton says their school year started with a quarantine. She was quarantined because she was about five and a half feet um, um, from an unmasked kid for 10, 15 minutes while eating lunch. That policy is changing. Fairfax County Public Schools announced it was accepted into the state's test to stay program or TTS, a pilot program run by Virginia Department of Health through the CDC that aims to contain the spread while minimizing out of class time by allowing school associated close contacts who aren't fully vaccinated to continue in person learning during their quarantine period through serial testing. If test to stay was implemented, my daughter would have been immediately brought back to school. There's no date on when this four big pilot program will start, but we are expected to learn the details in January. There is absolutely no reason why test to stay cannot be done immediately today. While some are eager, there are some parents who are skeptical. To me, if it's a classroom exposure, the whole classroom should at least go to be tested right away and at least for three days, because that's the, you know, common breathing ground is a three days. If they still test negative after three days, then fine, go back to school. Alicia Martin is also worried about kids coming back after the holiday break. The district is opening a drive through testing site Thursday and Friday for symptomatic staff and students. But Martin wonders what could happen over the holiday weekend before they come back on the third. I think they should do something along the lines of what DC is doing, where you pick up a test Monday and Tuesday of next week and get tested then so that the FCPS testing site will be here at district headquarters tomorrow and Friday. You do have to register ahead of time. I have the details on how you can do that up on WSA9.com. I'm live in Falls Church, Colby Satterfield, WUSA9. All right, Colby, thank you.